<laughs> hey y'all, it's What's me, up, Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog. Today, we're gonna go with Peter. You guys know Peter, and we're gonna see Pharos. And Peter's gonna tell us all about Pharos. He's our biggest, oh, yeah. meanest, Leucistic alligator. Well, don't talk about him like that. You can't okay. call him mean. He's food motivated, guys, all right? He's not mean. You can't yeah. talk about your coworker like that. But come on, come with okay. us. Okay. Take a peek at him. So you see, even walking into Firo's home comes with a warning. If you come to Gatorland, you visit us, and you read this thing, it says, you know, he's scary. He looks like he's shy, but then he'll shoot out of the water. Then he acts like a stick of dynamite. Yeah, but that's he, all true. But he kind of yes. does. All of that is true. This ain't a lie or nothing. But, but he's your favorite, and why is he your favorite? That's why he's my favorite, because what I find is these more aggressive gators really do just want food more. So instead of me just running out of here and not giving him my time, I've noticed he just is very excited about eating, so I try to make sure that he gets it exactly the way I ask him to. And uh, normally, we start this routine in the water. But you can see Pharos is already up. He's oh, gonna walk he over to his feeding spot. He's gonna stop where he knows he's gonna get fed, and he's gonna pose for us, stick his head all the way up, and ah, show he's us those so beautiful coming. teeth. You better turn around. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. So, Get up here fast. Come on up, Pharos. Hey, can you open? Open up. So, here, when you get up close, you'll see he's got these beautiful blue eyes. That's the, one of the characteristics of a leucistic alligator. Uh, now, he also looks like he's been eating some chocolate and he got it all over his mouth. Part of the leucistic trait is that it's a drastic reduction of pigment. It's not a complete loss of all pigment in an alligator. So they all have different little bits of pattern throughout their body. But look at the rest of him. He's pretty much a clean white alligator, except for the face. Aren't you, buddy? Oh, he just okay. tries to. I'm gonna walk around him, but you need to make me a hole. All right. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Yep. Go ahead. He is beautiful. Look back here at his tail. Oh, he's got a gorgeous tail. Every piece, not one little chip in it. The whole thing. So yeah, Pharaohs is definitely one of the coolest gators we have here. One of our most responsive to training. Uh, so far, we've got him up to five different commands. He knows here, stay, hold, open. All right, he's opening it up for us right now. Does he know sit in my lap? Uh, he's almost getting there, I think. But here, we'll go ahead and give him that piece. Oh, he bit that one like he wanted it to be me. I know, buddy. You get real excited around feeding time. Now, we're going to ask him to hold. This is one of his hardest commands, but I've actually got him to sit with his mouth open and hold like that uh, for over a minute before. So, all right, open up. So, Firos. Let me get him a piece of meat. I think he just tried to give you a kiss. A kiss? I think, I think that's what I just saw. A gator kiss like would a not big... feel as good as, uh, <laughs> as we talk about it. Like a big toothy kiss. All right. You ready? Let's see if he'll hold for us now. Open, open, and hold. All right, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give him this piece. Nice job, boy, nice job. Well, he really likes you best, because when I try to get him to hold, he pins me up against the wall. Oh, yeah, sometimes he just gets <laughs> too excited and he doesn't want to listen at all. Uh, and even I have moments like that where it's just one of those get out of the pen uh, and make sure that you're safe type of situations. But when Firos is in a good mood, this is pretty much the behavior I'll get out of him. He'll come up to you, he knows to stop right there at the cusp of that wood, and really, he's not going to be persistent about getting as much food from you as he can. He's gonna eat a couple of bites and then he usually just gets shy and wants to go right back in the water. So, Pharos, water, and then I'll take some water and splash it on his ear here so he knows. <laughs> All right, he's got the last piece of meat still stuck to the top of his mouth. In the water, go ahead. Good boy, in the water. Look at that, guys. Very good job. Now, he also knows he gets one more treat. Once he gets in the water, he'll turn all the way around. He'll come put his head over here, and I'll ask him to lift his mouth up so that he can uh, get his one more piece that we've got for him here. Hey. Come here, boy. Oh, you're so scary. Yeah, I'm going to get the brush out of the curl. Okay, what are, we, what are we doing? I'm going to get the brush from him, and I'm going to see if we can uh, clean this gator up a little bit. Okay. Hi. Don't do it. Peter just, Peter left. We're, we're good. Me and you, we're friends. I love you. I think you're awesome. 
But you don't need to sit up here with me. You can stay right there. Peter's going to come right back. Hold. That's what Peter says. Hold. No, that ain't hold. Well, that's a good hold. Hey. Peter, hurry up. I'm coming back. Yeah, it's, I think it's in there with Pearl. <laughs> hey, no, it was, but somebody moved it. Uh -oh. Firos, come here. Come here, boy. All the way up. All the way up. More. Open up. Now, Firos doesn't have a lot of teeth, Peter. Why is that? Oh, he's just in between some sets right now okay. uh, of teeth. They regrow teeth their entire lifetime. Uh, they'll go through two to 3,000 individual teeth and they have 82 at a time. So if you take a close look, you'll see in the spots where it looks like he's missing teeth, he's uh -huh. just got the really teeny tiny tips of the next tooth that's coming yeah. in. Cystic alligators are way more rare than like an albino. Oh yeah, so when you see a zoo and they have a white alligator, normally uh, you'll see that they have white or pink colored eyes. That's gonna be an albino animal, which essentially means they're amelanistic. They're missing all the melanin or black pigment from their skin. Right. Uh, clearly that is not the case here. You can see the black pigment on this alligator's skin. Uh, so this is a leucistic. Again, albinism would be completely white. Firos, open up. Good boy. Hey, Firos, can you come here? Firos, here. Good boy, here. Firos. I got some food over here. Come on. Come here. So you see he's sneaking up on us. Here. And Pharos doesn't know that he's wide and we can see him, right? Oh no, he thinks he's like a, a dark log floating over to us and that we can't notice that he's there. But look, he's being real gentle. He Go ahead, actually. pal. You can have a piece. I want to pretend and say that you're just being cute because you like me, but I know you're cold. <laughs> I think he does like you better. I mean, maybe he listens to me because I probably feed him the most, but I know that the love is all coming from me and going towards him and that this alligator would probably just love to eat me. Nah, he might like to taste you though. Yeah. Oh, he's okay with it until I touch one of his ISOs and then he turns. Open. And what's really cool is, I know you're getting a close-up there, Savannah. If you look at the integumentary sensory organs, if it happens to be on a spot where he has color, it's black like on a normal alligator. Uh -huh. But if his integumentary sensory organ is just on the part where it's white, it's a pinkish color. So he still has each one of those nerve endings that goes through the bone to the outer layer of skin, but they're different colors depending on where they are on this alligator's That's face. That's really cool. It, yeah, it's so incredible. Uh, that, I mean, really, on the albino, you'll see they're all white. So this is what I was talking about with the integumentary sensory organs. Each one of those little black bumps that you see on the alligator's face is a nerve ending that goes through the bone to the outer layer of skin. And you can see them even on this cleaned alligator skull. Uh, so they're very sensitive. Anything that touches them is going to instigate a bite response from the alligator. And that's why they're such good ambush predators. They could be asleep and something just stimulates one of these sensors on their face and they'll wake up and bite it. It really is an incredible advantage to have uh, all of those sensors all over your mouth while you're sitting in the water. It's just amazing to see it at play every single day when we feed him. So you guys will see he's got his eye wide open, but when we splash him a little bit, he'll cover it up. So that's called the nictitating membrane. And that's not just an alligator only characteristic. A lot of monitor lizards have that. And a lot of uh, other lizards have it as well. And it's not even just a reptile thing. Uh, there are mammals that have nictating membranes. For instance, polar bears have them. Uh, some retriever breeds of dog have nictating membrane. Uh, and basically, across the board, it all does the same thing. It keeps the eyes safe and protected while they're underwater. I'm gonna tell you what everybody in this vlog is gonna tell you, and that is you need to brush his teeth. We need to brush his teeth? Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. Their teeth are never uh, really that clean looking especially when they have this fresh flowing well water. There's all different stuff in the water that just kind of attaches to the calcium on their teeth. Maybe that's why he's so grumpy because he got all those yellow teeth and no toothbrush. All right guys, a storm is brewing right now, so we gotta go. That's right, we gotta get out of here so we can stay dry. <laughs> so do us a favor, check that like button, 
Smash that notification bell and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends too too. Post us a comment below and Peter's gonna go through and answer some of the questions. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Peter's really not gonna answer the questions, it's always me. No, so I'll try, I'll look at him this time, I promise. <laughs> All right, so check that like button, smash that notification bell, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends too, too. We sure do love you guys. Today is day 21 of Vlogmas. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's four more days till Christmas. That's right. We baby. love you guys. Merry Bye. Christmas. Bye.